In an earlier video, we looked at how to tell time on the hour. Now let's learn how to tell time more precisely. But I should mention that Russian has one way to do this for the first half hour and another way for the second half of an hour. They're pretty different, so we'll break this down into two short videos. Right now, let's look at time in the first half hour. So here's a clock. We've got 12 hours, and if we start by looking at 12, where's the first hour moving forward? Well, it's here, from 12 to 1. So from 1 to 2 is the second hour, the third hour is from 2 to 3, the fourth is from 3 to 4, and so on. This is actually really important, because to tell the time in the first half hour, we won't be talking about the hours as points, like 2 or 3 o'clock. Instead, we'll be talking about how far we've gotten into an hour as a period of time. But of course, we'll be doing it in Russian. So, if we've come 10 minutes into the first hour, we'll say 10 minut pierwowa. Note that we're using the genitive case of the ordinal here, literally 10 minutes of the first. If we are 15 minutes into the first hour, we can say 15 minut pierwowa. Or you'll also hear 4 pierwowa, a quarter of the first. Hmm, that's kind of a crazy clock hand. And at a half an hour in, we can use the word for half, polavina, though we often use a shorter form, pol, pol pierwowa. Now, if your native language is English, take care with this mental shift that you might need to make. In English, when we say 2.10 or 10 past 2, that 2 refers to a point on the clock that's past, 2 o'clock. And other languages like German, Spanish, and Mandarin use this pattern as well. In Russian, though, we're referring to an hour as a period of time, with the pattern that we just saw. From 2 to 3 o'clock is the third hour, and so that's why 2.10 is 10 minut tretjeva, literally 10 minutes of the third. Let's try a few more. I'll give the time in numbers, and you see if you can give the correct time in words. We're five minutes into the third hour here, so we say 5 minut tretjeva. By the way, treci has that unusual declension, so watch for this spelling with a mekki znak, the soft sign. Ten minutes into the fourth hour, we'll say desit minut chidyortava. Now we're in the first half of the tenth hour. Dvatsit minut dziesiatava. 7.25 will be dvatsit pet minut vasmova. And finally, halfway into the seventh hour, we'll say Remember, this system is used only for the first half hour, when the minute hand is anywhere from 1 through 30. To say 7.50, or any time when the minute hand points from 31 to 59, we'll use a different system that we'll cover in another video. Summing up. Russian uses different systems for telling time in the first half hour and the second half hour. To tell time in the first half hour, Use the number of minutes in the nominative case, followed by an ordinal number in the genitive case that refers to the hour that you're in. Literally, we're saying x minutes of the nth hour. Be sure to make that mental shift. We don't refer to the hour as a point that's past, but as a period of time that we're in. So, for example, 2.10 is 10 minutes of the third.